this is Benjamin Rolnick, and I want you to be aware of the single most dangerous emotion in human beings. I asked this conscious family dinner last month what they thought the most dangerous emotion that any human being could feel is. And one person raised their hand out of 60 people and said that it was sadness or depression. And a bunch of people raised their hands to think that it was anger, seeing as Donald Trump is our new president of the United States. And a lot of people are angry. There's wars all across the world. And then the majority of hands came up. Almost every single hand came up when I asked, is it fear? See, most people think that fear is the most dangerous emotion in life. In fact, my mentor, my guru, Tony Robbins, said that fear is what holds us back from creating what we want in our life. Because the first fear is that I won't be enough. And then the second fear is that if I'm not enough, I won't be loved. Now, I think that that's all well and good. And for my whole lifetime, I thought that fear was the thing that held me back. I thought that if I just had a bit more courage, I could do anything that I wanted. And then I learned that shame is actually the single most dangerous human emotion. Because as children, we're taught that we need to be liked in order to survive. And if who we are is not enough, it's not that we won't be loved. It's that we will literally die. We will be punished. We will experience massive amounts of pain. You're not afraid because you don't think that you can handle a situation. You're afraid because you're ashamed that you're unworthy of the situation. Think about the last time that you held yourself back from doing something, whether or not it was reaching forward towards a goal, quitting your job and experimenting with your passion, or whether or not it was talking to some lovely stranger who you had just saw in the corner of your eyes and felt that you had this magical connection with them. What held you back? Was it fear that they were going to hurt hurt you, that they were going to damage your body? Or was it the shame of thinking that maybe you're insufficient for this person? Was it the shame of thinking that maybe you're inadequate? See, shame isn't dangerous just because it prevents us from speaking to a pretty person across the room. Shame is dangerous in the wise words of Yeats in one of my favorite poems of all time, turning and turning in the widening gyre, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The blood dim tide is loosed. And everywhere, the ceremony of innocence is drowned. Here it is. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are filled with passionate intensity. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are filled with passionate intensity. See, we don't live in a culture of fear. A culture of fear is a culture where people are just locked in their own little bubbles and they don't do anything. We live in an entrepreneurial culture. We live in a culture of expansion where people feel ashamed that they're insufficient so that they don't step up and they don't reach out and speak up and stand up to power and anger and negative forces in the world. The best lack all conviction because they've been ashamed of who they are. They've been ashamed of their voice because they see that the worst are filled with passionate intensity. So they think to themselves, if I'm filled with passionate intensity, then I should be ashamed of who I am too because that's what they've been taught. They've been taught that they're not good enough to speak their voice, that they're not good enough to express themselves, that they would only be worthy when or if something happens in their life. When everyone is worthy now, worthy now, no later. There is no tomorrow to be worthy. You are worthy right this second. As I'm speaking to you, you are worthy. And when we put our worthiness aside, we allow our past to infect our future and we limit all the possibilities that we can experience in our lives. So my invitation to you <laughs> is to be shameless. And for some of you, that's a scary thought because literally the very thought itself makes you think, well, now I'm going to go act like all those people who I hate. But it's not true. If you were more shameless, if you, a good, loving, wholesome, wholehearted person in this world, behaved more shamelessly, what could you do? What could you create? What would be possible? To me, that sounds like a more loving world. To me, that sounds like a more vulnerable world. To me, that sounds like a world where people share more of their truth. They share themselves openly and honestly, and they own their stories as opposed to running away from them, which creates all the chaos and turbulence that we experience today. So go out there, be shameless, experience yourself as if you were worthy right now.